good afternoon student today i am going to discuss uh, about anglicist classicist controversy and uh, before we going to discuss about the anglicist classicist controversy we should know the uh, significance of the charter act already we have we have done in our previous classes that charter act uh, is very important one in the history of uh, education anglicist classicist controversy this controversy actually the roots cause of the controversy was the charter act in the charter act when uh, 43rd number clause is inserted and mentioned that uh, not less than 1 lakh of rupees will be appeared and applied for the revival of the literature for the promotion of the science education and to encourage the learned natives of Indians. But uh, when the 1 lakh of rupees sanctioned and how this amount, um, how to spend this amount, there was no clear cut uh, decision taken at the time. So, in this case, uh, the General Committee of Public Instruction consists of 10 members and among these 10 members, uh, they actually favored uh, classicist uh, or orientalist or western education. But uh, Charter Act when uh, declared, then a missionary group also, Indian people also and several groups uh, of the people or, or the organizations, they actually spread the knowledge according to their own way. But uh, actually close 43rd already I have mentioned that a sanction a sum of rupees 1 lakh each year for the revival and improvement of the Indian education. However, there was no any specific direction to secure the objectives of the revival and improvement of the literature, the encouragement of the learned natives of India and to introduction and promotion of the acknowledge of science among the inhabitants of the British territories in India. The close by itself was vogue for which different people in India explained it differently, which intensified the anglicist, classicist education controversy in India. In 1823, the Governor General of India appointed a general co uh, committee of public instruction, including the Bengal presi Presidency and the grant of the 1 lakh of rupees provided by the Charter Act of 1813 was placed at, uh, at the disposal of the committee. The committee consists of 10 members, already have uh, discussed it. The, uh, the main theme was that uh, establishment of the Sanskrit College at Calcutta. Many books are published in Sanskrit and Arabic languages. English books are translated into Indian languages, reorganized the uh, Calcutta, Bombay and Madras Sanskrit College. Since the uh, dawn of the 19th century, there had emerged two groups among the officials of the company. One group was of the Orientalist, already I have mentioned, or classicist who wanted to promotion the Indian education through the medium of the Sanskrit, Arabic and Persian, whereas the other group was of the Anglicist or uh, Occidentalist uh, who were in favor of developing Western education in India through the medium of English as the GCPI laid more importance on spreading Eastern education to many people like Raja Mohan, Raja Ram Mohan Rai and the director. <coughs> So, issues of the controversy, already I have mentioned that uh, Anglicist classicist controversy arose in the field of education, but main issue, what are, what are the main issues, uh, uh, issues of uh, the controversy? First issue, aim of education. Regarding the aim of education, there are, uh, they actually group it in two groups, they divided in two groups, one group supported that aim of education main aim of education or the first point of the controversy centered on the aim or objective of education. Regarding the aim of education, during that time different groups of the people had different views. There were mainly three views. 
regarding the aim uh, of education. One group actually uh, according to the uh, uh, first group or uh, regarding the aim of education, the different group of the people had different opinions. There were mainly three views already mentioned. Uh, the aim of according to the uh, second group, development of the Western education, then general education should be given to the Indian people to make them suitable for the government job. So, regarding the actual aim, uh, aim of education, it was declared that main aim of education uh, uh, actually mainly two groups. First groups uh, supported the aim of education should be educated the Indian people uh, in the line of the English or Western language and other group uh, supported the vernacular or the indigenous education should be given to them. And another issue or second issue is the agency of education. There are also some forms of conflicts and controversies regarding the agencies to be employed for organizing the schools and colleges. One school of thought offered that missionaries should be the agency of education. That means, missionaries should take the responsibility of education. Then, uh, uh, medium of the instruction, the controversy also aroused regarding the medium of the instruction. Also, there are three opinions. The first opinion was that the Western science and knowledge should be promoted through the classical language, which would be the medium of the instruction, namely Sanskrit or Arabic. The school, second school of thought was favorable towards the modern Indian language and lastly the third school of thought uh, held that education should be given through the medium of English. Thus regarding the medium of instruction one group supported English, the second group Arabic and Sanskrit and the third group modern Indian language. So, regarding the uh, medium of the instruction three, three groups were uh, uh, three groups were offering their opinion in three way one supported that medium of the instruction should be English, another supported uh, the um, indigenous uh, uh, education or regarding uh, uh, medium of the instruction, third group supported that there should be English. So, MIL, Arabic, Sanskrit or Parsi and English. So, these three issues, uh, three opinion they provided regarding the uh, medium of instruction. Then method of uh, education. Regarding the method of education actually uh, they actually divided in two groups. One group supported that method of education should be simple that is uh, uh, just uh, given uh, simple education to the Indian people or Indian students. So, uh, the <coughs> method of education should be method of education should be downward filtration theory. Regarding the method of education there are two groups. One group supported that method of education should be given uh, to the Indian people. Just a simple education should be given to them. There, uh, there should not be take any hard and fast rule. So, just a simple rule downward filtration theory. That means, uh, upper classes of the student will take the classes for, uh, to the lower classes. And this will, the, uh, this will benefit, the, benefit more the company regarding the financial crunch. So, they can save the financial position. And another group, another group supported that uh, the uh, actually uh, the method of education should be scientific and psychological. Psychological method and scientific method should be given to them as because this scientific and psychological method already applied in England. So, uh, those actually method used in England, this automatically this type of method should be given to the Indian people. So, controversy start uh, started uh, regarding the method of education. So, downward filtration theory, the other opinion preferred that the company should take the responsibility for educating the masses and thereby make education available to 
people. Thus, the Charter Act of 1813 had stressed on allotting the money only, no specific regulations were met for establishing the schools and colleges in India. As a result, a controversy was created between the Anglicist and uh, Classicist on the above four issues. So, this controversy actually started only the main purpose was to uh, how to spend this amount that is 1 lakh of rupees. In this way, the controversy uh, began and at that time uh, he, uh, he invited Maclay's and Maclay also came to India in 1823, July, 23rd July and uh, he was actually man of uh, uh, law. He was the expert in law and uh, we know that uh, there was no any uh, there is there, there was no chairman in the general committee of public instruction so chairman should be a lawyer he should know well known about the law so uh, regarding the law at that time Maclow was selected and sent to india and Mac, uh, and uh, he came to india and become the chairman of the general committee of public instruction and uh, uh, actually he uh, declared that uh, there was no actual controversy uh, he also explained he also explained uh, the amount how to spend he said that uh, uh, in the charter act mentioned about literature literature means it is not a eastern literature it is the literature of western and he also uh, said that uh, uh, land native uh, or educated uh, young people means educated young people means those actually educated in the lines of English or Engli English line and uh, um, he got automatically uh, by his own opinion he clearly declared that uh, the western education should be established here and we know uh, in 1835 when Benting came to India as a governor general and he declared uh, and he also ordered Adams also uh, he also asked Adam to submit his report by supporting the Eastern education. But wherever uh, uh, they presented their papers uh, supporting Western and Eastern by Maclay and Adam and uh, Lord William Benting accepted the report submitted by Lord Maclay. Uh, for today, the class is end. I will next start banting policy in detail. Thank you very much.